Thanks, everyone. Enjoy. Thank you so much, Carrie. Okay, next we're going to have our uh, new poet in residence for 2024, David Deffy. Unmute and share. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, this is it. It means a lot. Guest poet for 2023 and new poet in residence for 2024. I'm deeply honored. Thank you very much. Jerusalem. Time is invisible at night. The sound of premonition echoes in the dark. Thousand years ahead of eclipse. And every night we give ourselves as if we found something precious that it overwhelms all our wishes. That star drifts above the black smoke. Our loneliness is fading away. And the flickering flames beyond the waters with them and mists and dust showing us the meaning of trust where the answers are dwelling, are expecting a miracle at dawn. Reading the lines of lights through the centuries of mysteries, we want to feel each other again. We'd like to taste this second time of a miracle when truth emerges in between echoes of explosions on the other side of alone. Thank you. As the storm arrives, Silence with its excellent syntax is so real. A rhyme compensates, breathe when the stream of our thoughts shapes our lives. We are the same and always seek each other when silence between us dies. Are we all identical in nature, different in degree? Children can smell the wind more than pets. As you know, they prowl the streets and the smell of the wind will color them lilac. Though for now only the moon rises and each tree remains as the heart of a wind. Each wind, a string on time's lyre, Divine law reflected upon its own reflection, wickedness kindling that flame of darkness. But when the hero strikes her anvil of freedom, the vision returns. Here the mist is a single thought floating within islands of silence. And the clouds above you form as the moon rises. You try to give them a sense of purpose. You know that the messenger with the bad news won't come tomorrow. There is no bad news of this stillness in the world anymore, but emptiness, a wind, as your memory will vanish as the storm arrives and the empty world around you, meaningless, cannot return. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And from here, Maiden Lane Dawn. Silence tomorrow, but tonight the sky is clear. No wind, nothing. The stars shine. See that? Still the song echoes. You know, a song enough to drown the notes in silence as seeds. Warm breeze appears as the answer to a prayer. This morning, Maiden Lane drifts on the race in Lower Manhattan. See the man in the street? That's me, who still believes everything is in many ways our breath. Yet, he still turns his breath into a prayer and dawn that embraces him right there. Remembers that second when he was a kid, standing alone in front of the man with the machine gun and closed his eyes, took a deep breath and made his first wish 
looking right into the heart of its own future. And for my mother, it's called Don't Listen to That Noise. Look at me. Don't listen to that noise beyond the wall. Look at me. Say a word, any word. I still hear your voice from the divine side of the lawn, where we all will be born again. Don't be nicely listless. Don't be silent. Don't be afraid. Don't follow that noise right behind dawn. All the lilac shadow dwells in the end of the road, changing that end into the flitting cross, to transforming blaze right from your heart, from the other side of light. Don't listen to that noise. And before you will reunite, hold on for a second. Hold on. Shadows are their own masters on the soundless side of alone. But seconds are now gone, and light all around vanishes in a void, remembering my smile in your distant heavenly eyes. Thank you, everybody. Brownstone Poets, forever.